Loading controller files to your Viper Pro is a three-step process. In step one, let's initialize our USB drive. After turning the power on to your Viper Pro, insert the USB drive into the monitor. You will then select the menu button. Next, select File Maintenance. Now select Initialize External USB Drive. To initialize the USB drive, select OK. Now your external storage device has initialized successfully. Select OK again and it will take you back to your file maintenance menu. Now your USB drive is initialized. In step 2, let's learn how to download our controller files to our USB drive that we just initialized. When you are back at your computer and logged on to your Soiltest Pro account, go to your Jobs tab. On the Soil Sample job screen, Look at your jobs list and select the soil test job that you wish to download the controller files for by clicking details. On the job details screen, let's look at the recommendations for this job. Now we are seeing the recommendations that have been built for this job. Select the specific recommendation that you wish to download. Now select Export Controller File. Open the folder to see the actual controller files. Left click with your mouse in a blank area and hold that button while you drag the cursor across all of the files. This will highlight all of them for you. Now right click one time on any area in blue and click copy. Now insert your initialized USB drive into the USB port on your computer. Once you have done this, your computer will pop up a message window. Open the folder for the USB Open the Viper folder, then open the Miscellaneous folder. Now open the RX Maps folder. Right click one time in a blank area and click Paste. Now your controller files are in the correct folder and saved on your USB drive. Close the window. You know, many times we're in a hurry and just yank that USB drive out of the computer and go. I know, we've all done it. But you know, we just loaded quite a bit of important data onto that USB drive. So let's take the extra couple seconds to remove it properly and safely so as not to lose any of our hard work. Look to the bottom right of your computer screen and click on that little arrow. Look for the icon with the green circle and a check mark in it. When you hover over it, it says safely remove hardware and eject media. Click on that. Now click eject USB flash drive. Now we can safely remove our USB drive. In step 3, let's upload the controller files from the USB drive to the Viper Pro. This process is similar to initializing the USB drive. After turning the power on to your Viper Pro, insert the USB drive into the monitor. You will then select the menu button. Now select File Maintenance. Select USB RX Map Upload. This option will upload all prescription maps from the RX Maps folder on the USB drive to the Viper. No files will be deleted. If duplicates exist on the Viper, they will be overwritten. Select OK. Remove the USB drive and select OK again. And then you will be back to the main screen. We have now successfully loaded our controller files to our Viper Pro.